Right, so hey there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a program where you can use the operating system module. So this video is just wrapped around the OS module in Python and the different commands you can use and how useful they are. Personally I found this module really useful in almost every program that I create so I, I think I'm going to make a tutorial on this today. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, we're going to open a blank file like we always do. And I've got a text file as well. So in the text file, I have all the commands that I'm going to teach you guys today. We got around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, around 7, 8 commands. Should be enough to know enough about the OS module. The first line, what we're going to use is going to be import OS, which is operating system, if you didn't know. Once we're done with that, the first command we're going to be using is os.system. And then in here, what we need to enter is a file name that we want to execute. Essentially, what this command does is that it executes or opens any file that you put in here. I'll give you a quick example. You go to the same directory where you have your main.py file saved or whatever file, and you create a new file. It could be anything. Let's say a Word document. Um, run.docs, okay? Make sure to remember the extension. So we go in here and type in run.docx, which is the extension for word types. And then we'll print command executed. So when we run this now, essentially what needs to happen is the word file will open up. As we see right here, my word file has opened up and it's called run.docs. As soon as we close this, the other will get a prompt saying command executed. If we run this again as well, um, the same happens. The word, word will open up with the file that we named in there. It's a pretty useful command and I find myself using it pretty often. So now we've now that we've learned how to use the OS.system, that's one part of the tutorial. Let's move on to another one. Um, using this um, Using this module, you can also get the current directory information that you're working in. So you would to get the information related to the directory you're working in, you would do os.get current working directory. What this does is it returns the directory in which your main.py file is. So pretty much this on the top here. So if you run this, we're going to have to print that obviously. So we do print os.get current working directory run and as you see right here it says it's placed in the Z drive which is my main storage on desktop YouTube this Python workspace OS module tutorial and here we are we have the whole directory of where our file is pretty useful command as well so now that we know how to use this one we're gonna move on to the other one the other one is gonna be <clears throat> list directory so this one is more useful than getting the current working directory so if you want to find out the files that are placed within your current directory where your main file is of the Python, what you would do is do os.list directory and this will print all the files that are within your current directory. If you wanted to do a custom directory where you wanted to find the files, you would have to do uh, give the path to the directory that you want to look for. So for now we're just going to do it for the current directory. If we print that and we run this real quick. As we see right here, within this directory, we have got three files. One is information.txt, main.py, and one.docs. If we close this, we can also do a custom one where we can enter here the C drive. So if we run this one, it will come up with all the files in my C drive. So these are all the files in my C drive that I have found using this um, os.list directory and by giving it a custom path. Now that we know how to use this one we move on to the next one which is going to be making a directory. So the way you make a di directory in um, Python is you would use os. Um, make directory and let's call this direct directory or folder if you want to use in more non-technical terms. So let's call this folder created using Python okay and then we'll run this and it should create a folder just to just to show you guys I haven't got a folder already um, 
open file location. Can I do that? Uh, just gonna navigate back to Z Drive, Desktop, YouTube, um, Workspace. Should be around here. Um, just do a quick search. OS module tutorial. And here we are. So what it should do is it should create a new folder in here and call it created using Python, if I'm not wrong. We're gonna run this. And as we see right here, it says command executed. If we look into here, we see a new directory which didn't exist there before. And it says created using Python. You can do this as many times as you like by changing the name. And I find that to be another really useful feature as well. We're just gonna blank that for now because we've already learned how that works. The next one is removing files from a directory. So let's say we wanted to remove a certain file. To do that in Python you do os.remove and then the either the directory that you want to remove or either the file that you want to remove. For now we want to remove run.docs which is the word file we created before. So if we see in the directory we should have run.docs right here. Using this command once we execute that, it should delete this file essentially. So let's run this. And as you see, it says command executed, we close. And if we open this again, we do not have the run dot docs file. Pretty useful as well. Um, what command we're gonna learn next is gonna be the rename command. So the way the rename works is a bit more different. So you do os.rename. Rename and then we do the source that we want to rename and then so the initial name of the file and then the file we want to change the name to. So for purpose for just example purposes we're just gonna create a new text file and we're gonna call it change me.txt, right? So the name of the file that we want to change is change me.txt and then the name we want to change it to is going to be called changed by hyphen.txt okay so we're going to run this i'm not entirely sure if it's going to work but let's have a look okay so as you see right here we have it changed so it it says change from change me it's been changed to the file name that we entered here again another useful feature that could be used in uh, programs and the last one we're going to learn today is how to remove a certain directory. So to remove a directory, it's pretty similar to how we remove a file. So we just do os.rmdir, which stands for remove directory, and then the path of the directory. So the path of the directory is going to be, let's just remove this one, created using Python. You entered created using Python. And then if we run this, Obviously, the directory is still here. It should disappear. We run it, go back, and it's not here. So that's around the different features of the module OS that we've learned today. Um, hope I was able to help you guys out there. Please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Help me reach my target of 1,000 subscribers. And if you want me to create any similar programs, link them down in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.